Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, world. Bettina Carey here once more, and I am the founder and CEO of WeEmpowerYourLife.com and We Empower You. And today I'm here with two really wonderful professionals that are going to help us to dive a bit deeper about our brands and our identity. And uh, with me here today, I have Lee Romanoff, the founder and president of Income Activator, and also Brian Gregory from Admanity. And together, we are going to be sharing a little bit more about this wonderful opportunity with Admanity and explore and explain also the We Empower You membership. And I'm going to have Lee take it away to introduce Brian, and then Brian will take, uh, take it away from Lee. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, and one other thing, if you're watching, go to weempowerlife.com and click on the calendar tab to make sure that you join us here on the Zoom call. And we do this every single Wednesday. So if you're watching this after today, you're going to still want to join us on Wednesdays, 52 weeks out of the year. Again, go to weempowerlife.com, click on the calendar tab for today's link. All right, Lee, take it away. Okay. Um, actually, I want to go through sort of my own journey to understand how you're going to, you can go through your journey in regard to just building and exploding with excitement with your business. And the excitement comes from actually knowing where you go. Have you ever gotten lost when you're driving someplace and you just keep on trying things until you run out of gas? Well, that was my story. So right now, I um, actually I got the map from Brian and I wanna go through um, what I did so that you can follow this and it will benefit you guys financially too. But first, I want to play a ad I found for Brian, actually. And it's a really interesting ad. Love to hear your comments later when I hand over the mic. Okay. Let me share this. Greetings from the cockpit. This is your captain speaking. Our AV system isn't working today, so we can't show you the $2 million safety video that an ad agency did for us. But since very little of what that video tells you will actually save your lives, I'm going to do it instead. The FAA says that 60% of you ignore the safety talk. Today, you'll hear the real safety talk you should have been giving years ago. You don't want to miss this one. Here's the big thing to remember. If we crash or make an emergency landing, statistically speaking, 95% of you will survive. If it's a serious crash, 55% of you will survive. So if this plane is going down, concentrate because your life may depend on some smart decisions. Keep in mind that 80% of accidents happen within the first three minutes and last eight minutes of the flight. So that's when it would be wise to keep your shoes on and put your laptops away and stay focused. The safest seats on this plane are the ones facing backward, like the ones the flight crew are seated in. No, that's not a coincidence. The next safest seats are over the wings, closest to the emergency exit. If you're not in one of those right now, that's a bummer. But here's what you can do to help ensure your survival. Look where the nearest exit is. Now count the rows between you and that exit. If the cabin was full of smoke or upside down, or full of smoke and upside down, how would you get to the exit? Take a moment to visualize yourself doing just that. Now, look at your seatbelt. I know you all know how to use it, but that's because nothing is making you lose your shit right now. It's common for people in emergency stress situations to try to open that thing by pressing a button that's not actually there, like the seatbelt on your car. So take a moment to imagine yourself lifting the flap in an emergency. In fact, do it now just to get used to the motion. Emergency evacuations on the runway are more common than crashes. In the event of something like an engine fire, we need to get you all off the plane in about 90 seconds. This means you need to leave your fucking bags in the overhead bins and get off the plane in a quick and orderly way. Those bags will bring the evacuation to a virtual halt. My first officer and I will also be trying to get off this plane. And the last thing we want is to be cockpit blocked by your roll-on. 
Now you're probably well aware that there's a life jacket under your seat. Forget about it. They're less likely to save your life than those little airline pillows. Sure, there was the famous 2009 emergency water landing on the Hudson, but there were boats on hand immediately and no one actually needed the life vests. There was a flight that ditched in the Caribbean in 1970 where 40 lives were likely saved by the vests, but there was also one off the coast of Ethiopia in 1996 in which many passengers put them on too early and then couldn't get out of the flooded fuselage. To put it another way, if we replace those life vests with a box of chocolates, it wouldn't alter your survival odds. Let's take a second to talk about those oxygen masks. Here's the thing. If we lose cabin pressure at a fairly low altitude, no big deal. You can breathe just fine. If we lose cabin pressure at cruising altitude, you can't. If that happens, here's what I'm required to do. I'm going to push the nose of the plane into an emergency descent. That's going to feel like a roller coaster drop, and it's going to scare the crap out of you, but it's not dangerous. I've practiced. Also, by law, I need to notify air traffic control as well as the airline. And I need to do all of that before I can get on the microphone and tell you what the hell is going on. So don't be surprised if you don't hear from me for a bit. I'm just doing my job and you're gonna be fine. For those of you who didn't manage to get your masks on in time, you'll probably pass out and then wake up in a minute or two when I get the plane to a lower altitude. You wanna know what the biggest danger is? that you won't get your frequent flyer points for this flight. Just kidding. Now, the biggest danger is actually that your luggage or those duty-free bottles you purchased and put in the overhead compartment will fall out when you open it and hit someone on the head. There are actually several thousand reported injuries from this every year in the US alone. By contrast, the FAA only reports 58 or so serious injuries from turbulence. So one could easily make the case that we should be handing out a helmet and skip the seatbelts. Another big risk is the drink cart. Seriously, it weighs over 100 kilos when fully loaded, and every year passengers get their elbows and knees and feet broken when the drink carts slam into them. So keep your arms and legs tucked away. Why haven't the airlines put some safety padding on the drink cart? No idea. Seems pretty basic. Same goes for the spill-proof coffee and teapots and cups with lids. Every year, some poor passengers get hot coffee or tea in their crotch when there's a bit of turbulence. But until the airlines fix this, I'm afraid you're on your own. Now, you're probably wondering, how can this bucket of bolts stay in the sky if we can't even get the AV system or the latch on your tray table to work properly? To be honest, we sometimes wonder that as well. But the stats speak for themselves. The actual risk of dying in a plane crash is about 1 in 11 million, according to the Harvard School of Public Health's 2006 study. So you are far more likely to be struck by lightning or killed by a shark. And it's certainly much safer than driving. Right after 9-11, many were scared to fly. 12 to 20 percent fewer people flew. But because more people made driving trips instead of flying, a German professor estimated that an extra 1,595 people died in car accidents in the year after a 9-11 just in the U.S. Just a little reminder that we'll probably keep the seatbelt sign on for nearly the entire flight because our flight crew doesn't like to be bothered in the galley and they definitely don't like trying to squeeze by you in the aisles. Please sit back and relax while we take forever to serve you a drink and barely edible meal and then leave the tray on your table, making it nearly impossible for you to squeeze out of the chair and get to the toilet. Look forward to flying with you again. <laughs> what do you guys think of that? <laughs> I knew that. That's hilarious. <laughs> long, I, I can't it. keep my attention that long. <laughs> yeah, well, try. Take a pill. Um, <laughs> now, truth, you know, truth and honesty. I mean, how many people, if I played a normal, you know, thing about the, the airlines, no, everybody would have blanked out other than Troy. Um, this is good. I, I like the truth and honesty. But can you guys see this, uh, my screen now that says compare car insurance rates? Not yet. You got to hit the I share. Guess, I got to reshare this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So can you see, you can see it now, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let me tell you about my uh, advertising, my Amity journey that you guys can all take part of. And we did something this afternoon for about two 
to three painful hours for you guys to profit from. <laughs> but here's how it went. Um, when I had the compare your car insurance, quote, sending leads to businesses that pay you, that was my um, business prepping. I could do, I could, it would generate revenue without me doing anything. As long as I promoted on the media, I would average between 50 to $100,000 a month. Torstar, one of the largest media companies in North America, caught wind of this, couldn't believe how much money I was making at, without any obvious forms of advertising, bought the company for just over 2 million, and I became part of their milestones in history when they bought the business in 2007. 2007, where did it go? Right there, insurance hotline. That's a big deal. And so I, for, I took that software that they paid $2 million for, just over 2 million, because when I wanted to go into my next business, and I went online to find a website builder, I found all the 20, top, 21 top website builders, I found all of these crap. Their, their revenue model is to give you inadequate websites and upsell you until you bleed dry. And none of them had the revenue software that all the big money companies use to make money online, which is lead revenue software, whether it's a pay-per-click or referral form. It is kept away from you. You don't even get a chance to play in the big park with them. You're not even told about it. However, you are here. So uh, because even though I had more money than I could ever imagine, um, I knew that any one of these website platforms, if I put my, pardon? If I put, um, you guys can hear me, right? Thumbs up? Yep. Okay. Um, if, I, if I went on any one of these website platforms with, the, with my abilities to make money online, I could not make any of these website platforms make money, at least not to the level that would uh, keep me uh, not having to work for somebody. So I put my foot in the door and I created the Income Activator website platform, which all of you guys have within the We Empower You membership. And it has the software that all big money, social media and tech companies use to make money online. So now you can compete with the big guys. I also, when I finally, you know, I heard Brian one too many times and he finally sort of rung a chord with me and he said, look at what's your target? What's your audience leave? Who are you looking at? And I thought, you know what? For, I don't know, 397, that I could get some really good advice here. So I took the amenity course, but I, I was serious about it. First, I went to all the websites and I, and I went and I took a look and I look at their homepage to see what words they use and what colors they use. Because the Admanity thing gives me the colors that are targeted to my niche, which I didn't even know until I took the course. I could guess, but you never really, really know. And even, you, you know, when you never ever really know, but you, you start doing your research. Look at this, isn't this funny? Build a professional website and you got this person this doing a carving of a sparrow and clay how is that professional i don't know and create a website free today nice chair okay so anyway i took the test and i found out that my personal brand was attraction so I thought, wow isn't that interesting so here my website here because of attraction I changed the video, but I also changed the, the look because here I've got a, a creepy man's hand coming out of my stomach, right? So I changed it from a creepy man's hand coming out of my stomach, websites are meant to make money, to 
a good looking guy. <laughs> Still coming out of my stomach though. No. <laughs> and it says, websites are meant to make money so you can enjoy your lifestyle, which is attraction. So it's completely changed my focus from creepy hand coming out of my stomach to guy on the beach with his computer phone looking pretty comfortable. So the We Empower You platform not only includes software that is only used by the multi-million dollar high tech and social media companies, but it also includes a friggin' TV show, okay? A five minute TV show spotlight, take a bow to you, okay? To you, who would ever think you would have a, t a five minute spotlight TV show on Apple, Amazon, Roku, Google Play, Chromecast, um, and Android TV? You are perfectly positioned for sponsors to give you money hand over fist so that people are directed to your spotlight where you can expand into a regular TV show with your message, sending people to your website that generates lead revenue. Here's my spotlight TV show right beside to you. So somehow she got ahead of me. Now, if we go to this, luckily I nailed the attraction part, but listen to this because everybody here has this, whether you are part of the income activator, I mean, the We Empower You membership or are promoting the We Empower You membership. You all have this, and I'm going to play this video. You've heard this before, but it's important to hear it again to really understand what Torstar paid me over two million dollars for. What you have sitting in your computer right now. So let's just start this, and listen to the attraction part. And then, just around here listen to where everybody is because when they have a WordPress website that has 60 million people, 90%, okay, let's do 80, 20 rule. 80% of those people are dissatisfied and not making money. So out of 60 million, that's your target, 80%. So let's start with this. <laughs> website isn't generating the same amount of revenue as the big money companies are? Well, it's because big money companies don't do what you do. And you don't do what big money companies do. For instance, Pinterest is a picture website. And you probably had a website long before they did. Pinterest doesn't take photos. And these are not their pictures. Pinterest makes millions of dollars online and never sells a thing. There are three things that big money companies do. They get their visitors to contribute their content. They send leads to companies that pay them and they have complete control over their website platform. Big money companies don't do what you do. They don't sell to their visitor traffic. You don't do what big money companies do. YouTube is a video website. YouTube does not make videos. These are not YouTube's videos. YouTube makes millions of dollars online and never sells a thing. YouTube sends pay-per-click leads and referrals to companies that pay them. Big money companies don't do what you do. You don't do what big money companies do. Facebook is a profile website. Facebook does not create profiles. Facebook makes millions of dollars online and never sells a thing. 
There are millions of companies online that get their visitors to contribute their content, send leads to companies that pay them, and have control over their website platform. And Income Activator has a website platform that allows you to do what big money companies do. It's time for you to stop competing for sales with the small guys and start playing in the big league with leads with the big guys. Okay, so your membership program with Katina right here gives you the website with the software that one of the largest media companies in North America paid $2 million for. That's a pretty prestigious place to be. You have that in your membership because you're a 50% member of the We Empower You. No one else is going to give that to you. You have a TV show on streaming live to over a 50 million audience, if you choose to promote the TV show. You have a sponsorship package of over 400 companies that are used to giving people, like yourselves, the entrepreneur, your tragic story, your, whatever your message is, anywhere from a thousand to a hundred thousand dollars a year. This is a proven package that has got has gotten that kind of money. So you're pretty good. You're you're sitting pretty. So everybody can have a We Empower You membership uh, site. And basically, it's just if someone goes, you can list your resources. All resources are revenue based. You can promote the membership. When someone goes to buy, it goes to Bettina's site. It's tracked and you're paid. You're paid out of the $15.99, $800 per person. And it's on an annual basis. So if I were you, and I am you, I just would do the math. I would say 100 people is going to, 100 people is going to earn me $80,000 a year on renewal. And that, that works. And if I can get 100 people, I can get 200 people. So all you need to do is take this link on your website and promote it. That's it. Now, the beauty of it is that Bettina, Brian, and I sat down this afternoon to figure out how to target an audience to make them buy. Now, you've heard Brian's uh, story about the Marlboro Man, and I wanted him to tell you that just briefly before we go into it, because Brian is going to go over our report that Bettina and I did to sell the membership, which is now yours on how to sell it. You can also, what I recommend is once you start making money from the membership, get onto Brian's program and do his report based on your own um, product or service. Because mine was attraction, but the membership is a different focus. So take it away. Was that okay, Tina? Absolutely. Tina, Bettina, Bettina. I just, I skipped over your first name. First part. <laughs> it's been a long day. All right. So first of all, let me add you, uh, add uh, spotlight to Brian. And then um, I'm going to uh, also add myself if I can. There we go. All right. So this was the coolest meeting since sliced bread. I'm telling you, we had no idea this morning when I was talking to Lee, um, <laughs> exactly what was going to happen but it was you know she and i are like night and day day and night or whatever you want to call it and together you know we make the best 
whatever, right? And at the same time, we're not alike. And so coming to this conversation with Brian, where we were able to discover that we could have something that would represent both of us really, really well when it comes to the We Empower You community and membership is just, it was like, <laughs> let me just say, it was um, remarkable. So that said, I'm going to uh, unspotlight Lee and I, unless Lee has anything else to say, we'll let Brian take it away. No, what, what, I'm, what we're suggesting is that between the three of us, we created the most powerful sales presentation pitch focus emotion for the we empower you membership you follow what brian says and you create your own promotions on your social media and you will start converting it's impossible not to Absolutely. but start with your Mar marlboro man because a few people may not have heard about this brian okay Yes, it's true. We, the three of us sat down the, uh, the great trinity of marketing and uh, uh, I wasn't sure if part of the time I was a mentor or a referee. <laughs> uh, but I'm happy to report that everybody uh, survived with minor cuts and bruises. And uh, we, we were able to get some things done. And you know, one of the interesting things about the test and the program is sometimes you can collaborate and take, you know, two or three people can take the same test, same time and you really get a little bit more uh, definition of who you are, but you'll also argue a lot as you do it. Um, and you'll find that you don't, we don't all see things the same way. And it's at those moments that I'm really glad that we built redundancy into the test so that uh, the different opinions could come through and still it would find its way uh, to the mark. So I'll, I'll tell you the Marlboro story. A lot of people don't realize that uh, everyone's heard of Marlboro. Some of you might have used the product at one point in your life, but uh, what a lot of people don't realize is they are now the largest global brand of cigarettes in, in, the, in the world by far. Uh, they make more than all of their competitors combined. So that's how big they are. But when they're in the start of their life, they were almost nothing. They, uh, like a lot of us feel sometimes like, ah, oh, my business is not getting off the ground. I'm having trouble. You know, no one's buying my thing. And Marlboro must have felt that way in the 50s because they were the only cigarette in the United States that couldn't sell its product. They were uh, ranked last of all brands. And uh, they had less than a quarter of a percent market share, which is almost not worth me uh, measuring. And this is owned by Philip Morris. So it's a big company, right? They should know what they're doing. But for 30 straight years, this brand had struck out and they could not get it above a quarter of after. Can you imagine marketing for 30 years and you're only at a quarter of a percent of the market share, uh, you got you to gotta ask some serious questions like, why are we doing this and why, why shouldn't we stop? Now, fortunately or unfortunately, however you want to throw the, throw the die here, they did enlist the aid of somebody who had a better idea. An agency came in and they said, yeah, we think we got a better idea on how you could sell this. Uh, obviously, there's about a zillion people buying cigarettes, so we're not going to change that. We're not here to create the moral history of Marlboro. The people were going to smoke in 1955. That's just all there was to it. The problem is they weren't going to smoke your brand, so you're going to lose. So they created a concept. They said, we're not going to change the formula, which is interesting because they could have said, hey, maybe no one likes the taste. They're, we're not going to change the name, which is interesting because everybody knew this name for 30 years as a losing brand, right? Uh, we're really not going to change the way it looks much. Uh, you know, we're, here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a new ad. And I'm imagining the folks at Philip Morris in the boardroom, I wish I could have been there, were probably looking at them like, you don't think we've thought of that? You don't think we've tried a few ads in our time? You think we're morons? What do you, you know, what do you think here? 30 years of marketing. And, um, and the agency probably said something yeah, like, yeah, but we know what to do. And, and obviously what you did probably didn't work. So what do you got to lose at this point? What do you have to lose? You're already last. And so they convinced them to change the ad, leave everything else the same. And we all know what happened. They created the image of the Marlboro Man in a post-World War II America, where a lot of men were acclimating to um, corporate jobs, trying to find their life behind a desk. And they showed us pictures of this cowboy, this iconic, strong, kind of a man's man, 
you know, cowboy, everybody liked cowboys back in the fifties. So believe it or not, it seems simple now. Like why, well, why isn't everything a cowboy? Well, back then, I don't know. There was John Wayne and a few other big cowboys and they did it and they put the ad out there. And this, here's the interesting thing. All they did was say, come to Marlboro country, change your brand, basically come over here and smoke Marlboros and you'll be more like the cowboy. You'll be, a, you'll be like uh, admirable, enviable. And that's what they said without saying it. That's what the impression everybody got. And within one year, they went from 15 million in sales to 5 billion. This is a 1955 dollars. So can you imagine 15 million to 5 billion in one year? They later, the next year they did 20 billion. And a few years later, they were the number one brand in the entire um, uh, country and going for the world. So all they did was change the ad. Now they never changed the ad back. They just stuck with it because it was working. And it's a, it's a great testimonial, not to cigarettes. I don't care what you think of cigarettes. Uh, you know, they're probably pretty bad for you, right? But all the more reason why, how does you, how did you convince everybody to smoke them? How did you convince everybody, you know, to do this? And they used a very powerful human emotion and it's called envy, admiration. We call it the admiration archetype. Basically, it's better over there. I want that because whatever that is, it's better than what I have. I want what they're having. And then once I have that, then I'll be, maybe somebody will look up to me and I'll be the Marlboro man. I'll be a little cooler. I'll be a little stronger. I'll be a little more of a man's man, right? And they found that even women related to it and they were selling, it was originally a woman's cigarette. They were selling more women with the Marlboro man than they ever sold when they were marketing directly to women. So it's really interesting. And the only thing they changed was the emotion of the brand. They left everything else the same. And it's literally the biggest turnaround, I think, in advertising history. And if you can't learn something from that, uh, you got you to gotta be crazy because this is a brand that probably should have just retired and, and, and put itself to sleep, right? But it didn't. And so today, when we were doing uh, our analysis of We Empower You and Income Activator and all the things that make this, uh, this project, this mission that you're on, amazing. And we, an we analyze the, the brand. What is it? What are we trying to put forward? What do we want somebody else to think if they're being uh, approached to buy this? Will it be better? Will it be uh, the same? Will it be different? Will it be difficult? Will it be fun? And the answer after, uh, like I said, we, we, we took our time with this test. It's a five minute test. I think it took us 45 minutes because we had to argue about each, each and everything. But we wanted to make sure that we were in agreement before we move to the next question. And I recommend this, it's not a bad thing to do at all. We do it for large companies all the time. Um, and it came up as the admiration brand, the brand of, of envy, the same brand that Marlboro, uh, the same emotion that Marlboro would have, would have used to convince people to sort of come over to our side of the fence. And a lot of attraction as well, Lee mentioned attraction, the very, uh, slogan of Marlboro, come to where the flavor is, come to Marlboro country, says basically change. Come over here and make the change. Try our brand. They knew they couldn't get new smokers. They wanted everybody that was already smoking to switch. There's a lot more money there. So we, we analyzed the brand and we, we figured out that its admiration is a huge, huge factor. So as, as if we're talking now about how to get people to enroll and we empower you, Let's look at what it does. It gives you an advantage that the common person doesn't have. It enables you to become on, on, to be on TV. Look, the average person is not on TV. Uh, it's a very enviable uh, position. It gives you the ability to craft a brand around whatever it is you're doing or perhaps yourself. It gives you a, a taller pedestal uh, from which to market upon. And that's important. Whatever you're doing, uh, with this membership, um, it shouldn't be sold cheaply. It should be sold as a very high aspirational, something you would acquire if you were on your way to the top. And if you're not on your way to the top, then maybe you shouldn't acquire it. And although it, there's a lot of reasons to join We Empower You, and there's a lot of ways to change and improve, um, we deduced that the best was more of an aspirational goal based on the results. And it wasn't even close, by the way, the test was, uh, I looked at the results 
uh, the way I look at the results uh, behind the scenes. And it wasn't even close. Uh, it, was, it was totally best sold by using the admiration archetype, which we can talk more about, but it's, it's very, very interesting. And it's not something we would normally do. Maybe you're, you undersell it, you, you, un, you soft sell it a little bit, but it really should be put out there as something that's awesome and way cooler than normal. And it will catapult you into the upper decks as opposed to walking up there the slow hard way, uh, the stairway to heaven as we call it. Uh, you know, it's a long hard pull through life. This is a shortcut. This is the elevator. This is the quicker way to go. It's a smarter way to go. It's what the winners do. And if you can think of it more like that, um, rather than trying to just you know, sell all the individual pieces of it, but the feeling of what it's going to be like when you aspirationally you get to the top of the pedestal and you're looking down on the rest as opposed to the rest looking down on you, um, that's a very strong emotion. And that's an emotion most people don't get in their life. And it's an emotion that most people would love to see more of in their life. We'd all like to be a little more um, respected and, and that kind of thing. And it's something that I think you can make a lot of money with. And I think it's a better uh, strategy, if you will. Um, how's that, Lee? I, I, don't, I don't want to talk too long. Brian, can you go through some of the, um, uh, the one, two, threes of, ad, of, um, of uh, admiration? Yes. Um, you Can know, you pull up our chart or anything? Can you pull up our chart or anything and just see show the combinations so you could use this combination then that combination or give us let me see. Can I share screen? Am I uh, set up? Sure. Uh, you, you can share up. Screen? You're set up. Yeah. Okay. I would I would uh, love because when people do your at vanity test, they're gonna get these kind of reports. But given that these reports are good for everybody when they're thinking of promoting um, uh, the We Empower You on their social media, they should see these reports. So if you could just go over quickly and just do a quick review, review on sort of your take on, on the reports, because well, you've got brilliant see. words to use. And we'll be going over your, this video, listening to your words, listening to your you know, sort of take. You, you, you're really familiar with the We Empower You platform. So and Brian, um, you'll have to share the, the screen that you want to see. And one thing that occurs to me is it might be useful to see the video that comes with attraction, if that would be advisable to share. Uh, well, I wasn't really prepared to get into the- um, Specifics, okay. The, well, I'm trying to get the. I'm trying to just share something basic with you now. What do you guys? Are you guys seeing the thing? Oh, yeah, let's talk. Yeah. That's yeah. This is good. If you can go over the archetypes, I guess you call them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Admiration. Yeah. So you're looking to get the admiration formulas page, right? Is that yeah. working? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's. Yeah. So if you're the admiration brand, and let's say for today we all are, we're all trying to, uh, we want to grow our business using this tool that is aspirational. It's gonna get people to the upper decks. So we're gonna use an envious uh, strategy. These are the strategies that create that kind of feeling. So if you're looking at this chart here, uh, I'm just sharing with you, if you're admiration, then these four emotions contribute heavily to creating that feeling, okay, in another person. So we want the other person to feel what we know and what we are, and we want them to feel it because once they feel it, they buy it. But until they feel it, they won't buy it. They'll resist it. They'll say, I'll think about it. I'll call you back. And until they feel it, they don't buy. So that's true of anything. So the first one here is fascination, then the authority, altruism. It's an interesting one and approval. So the admiration archetype is sold best or presented best when uh, these, these emotions are involved. Now, they're not the only four. But I'm just showing you an example. If you have this report, you'll 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 be able to, you know, I'm sure that we'll be able to share some of these with you. But the fascination is excitement. It's the archetype of what what's coming soon. Okay, when TV shows advertise, they advertise what's coming soon in a very exciting way, right? They always share what the, the preview, right? And and what's coming soon in in the relation to the this brand is you're gonna improve, you're going to grow, you're going to become much better than you were, right? 
And that'll be exciting. And that'll be fascinating. And that's, that's sort of the fascination element of this. What's it going to be like once you've uh, kind of climbed up the, the tall pedestal? The authority is the basis by which we know it will work, the trust factor. Because, you know, Leah's already proved that, the, that the, her programs are, are worthy, but, you know, by, they've been sold for millions of dollars. But the, t the way the program was constructed and the and selling points of the website and everything it's going to do and the TV shows, uh, it shows you that you can trust in this, right? I want to grow and I want to be big, but I also want to trust that it's the right path, right? You want to get me to do this, you have to share with me a little bit of why it, it was created by experts and it's, it's the, you know, a very truthful, authoritative thing that, uh, you know, more or less is designed with the right uh, goals in mind. In other words, it's not a fly-by-night operation here. This is, this is a very serious, trustworthy project. Altruism goes right along with that. It says it was done for the right reasons, right? We're not here to scam people. We're not here to, to sell $10 widgets. We're here to transform. We're here to build and grow. And it was, this is done by very caring people who want to help other people. And those are the right reasons. It's the right thing to do. It's the smart thing to do. That's what altruism is, the right thing and the smart thing. People love to make that choice. They don't want to do the dumb thing. They want to do the smart thing. Okay, so you bring that out. And approval is just real simple. It's, just, it's, the, it's approved of by those who know, by those who've been there, who've done that. Who, you know, so the approval of the brand, you know, the others who've gone before you and those who've commented on a third party, um, uh, not critiques, but endorsements. And you know, so basically, you want to show that the the program is is very popular among those who are winners, who are going the right direction, doing it for the right reasons, the trustworthy, the honest, and it's going to be exciting when you get there. So just you know, in a really rough now, that's really rough, but it gives you an idea why you might buy the um, the admiration brand. Uh, and sometimes we associate it with real expensive products, like a Lamborghini is an admiration brand. In your case, it's not that expensive, um, but it gives the same feeling. Nobody needs a Lamborghini, but they want to go. They, they know that they're going to be uh, changed and transformed, and they're going to be uh, aspirationally uh, getting closer to the top, right? And they want everybody to notice that, and, and they, that that's why they buy the car. Um, it's $200,000. It's a lot of money to spend just to feel a certain way, isn't it? Because you could have bought a car for a lot less than that. In your case, you're very lucky because the program you offer is not a backbreaking cost. It's almost uh, a, a bargain. Maybe it is a bargain compared to, I've seen what other uh, programs charge. It's, it's like $5,000 for so much less than what you get. Yeah. So, you know, and, and you can see it too. I know all of you have been around the block at least once you've, you've seen it. And so I'm sharing with you how to maybe present this in a better light so that it, it appears to be the way to kind of get cut through the muck, get to the upper decks of life. You don't have to spend 20 years, uh, you become famous, and then you get your TV show. You can become, get your TV show and then become famous. It's, it's kind yeah. of a, a better way to go. Brian, can you go to that, some of the other ones? Because it, there, what's really cool is that you keep, like you always stay with admiration, but then you switch up the bottom parts. So can you go to like the next page after? Yeah. So we use a formula called one plus two equals three. And it's real simple. All that means is one emotion plus a second emotion is going to equal yours. So if you're admiration, in this case, it is. So two emotions combined create admiration. So uh, that we're always going to show two things together that are going to convince somebody that this is admirable. So here's your universe. These are the 15 emotions of admanity. Ad admiration's right here at the top. But you'll see all of these sooner or later in your strategies and your formulas. They all play a role. Some are major and some are very minor, but they all have their purpose. There's no bad emotions in admanity. There's only bad ad campaigns in the world. So we're going to show you a typical, here's a, here's a, um, a, a formula. Okay. There's, you're going to get it. And, and just so you know, 
no matter which product you uh, analyze through Edmanity, you will get 16 separate formulas for how to present it to the world that are based on big successful companies like Marlboro. And we, we, we did our homework. We know we only studied the ads that, that made companies go from zero to superhero because anything else is um, secondary. So we, we studied the ads that make the difference in, in the marketplace, the fairest place in the world to, to test something is right in the free market. So here's one, urgency. Now that's the fear archetype. There's a problem. There's a fearful situation. Perhaps this problem I'm just gonna translate here is that I'm not getting somewhere fast enough. My business isn't, isn't uh, going where I need it to go. I'm not going where I need to go. I'm not happy about this at all. I'm a little fearful of if I keep going this path where, where I might end up. You counter that with fascination, the excitement archetype, and you show how different it could be, okay? Yes, things aren't going well, that's too bad, but look at this over here. Look how good it could be if you were more admirable, right? If you had the tools, if you had the secrets, right? You had the backstage pass to what the winners already know. And you show that in the, in, the, in, the, in the formula and that leads people to say, hey, maybe I should pick up this admiration brand. This looks pretty good. Looks like I'm gonna get to someplace quicker, okay? So let's take, um, I'm just gonna take another one. I'm just gonna- um, You went too fast. No, I'm trying to get out of the uh, uh, one archetype and into okay. another here. Okay. So, so um, let's do, oh, let's, let's do, um, here's a good one. So again, we're, everything's trying to sell admiration in this particular example. So we start with altruism, okay? The, um, uh, the archetype of doing the right thing, the smart thing, okay? So you would imagine that the people who are doing the right thing and the smart thing are also the authorities, the experts, the acknowledged people you should be listening to, okay? So we might tell you, for example, how much work went into this, years of thought and years of money, money, lots of money, I'm sure Lee would tell you, has gone into this program to yep. create it. Could have been done cheaper, but it wasn't. They did the right thing, the smart thing, the good thing, the noble thing, and they spent the money to do it right. That's why people trust it. That's why it has authority. You can trust it as well. And whenever something is done for the right reasons and it's trusted, it's going to sell something probably very admirable. So it you know, what we're showing you is the way the emotions sort of fit together to shape the mood to buy an admiration brand, okay? We're but not coming I, right out and saying that, but that's can, what it's doing. Can we, can we take those, like the right written type, and can we transform that written type in this to our ad or our Facebook entry or anything like that? Is that how we- Yeah, we have, a, we have a section here called the ghost archetype. And because copywriting is not most people's specialty, most people are not great writers, but yet in business, you have to write something sooner or later, right? You have to put little ads together. And, and, and so we call this, uh, this is a very important, people skip over this, I'm just gonna say it. Every word you write should be the exact words your audience wants to read. If you really wanna sell, uh, it's important that you say what people would like to hear. And I don't, I don't mean lie to them, I mean, find the things they want to hear and find a way to reinforce that, that that's what your product does because they're not interested in anything else. Uh, anything else is a sidebar. You know, so the ghost section was created out of 170,000 words in the English language, which is a whole bunch of words. We're going to reduce it down to less than 1,000. I think it's probably about 500 in the average report. These are the, these are the words that sell admiration. These are the words that should work their way into your copy, your emails, your website, your social media posts. Um, and I don't know if you can see them and it might be a little small, but words like craftsmanship, convincing, expertise, honored, you know, uh, I'm just picking some out, fully trained, fundamental, so, you know, things that make it a no brainer. That this, this, is, this is what the winners, this is how you describe a winner. And so we give you more words even, and now we get you phrases so you can write, you know, some of these phrases are, are, are just powerful. You wouldn't think of them normally because nobody can think of this many phrases and words. No one's a thesaurus, but we give you the, th the thesaurus 
for your brand. How about that? That, that is something no one's ever done. There's a lot of copywriters and they all have their favorite words and phrases, but these are the words and phrases that sell you to the world. So we give you all these words, all these phrases, and we even give you metaphors, words that bring pictures to mind. As soon as you read them, you get a picture um, you know, of what's going on. You don't even need a photo to understand what hard hitting means, laboratory tested, this kind of thing, um, like a charging rhino. Okay, so they by themselves maybe don't sound great, but you, you mix them into your uh, copy and all of a sudden there's no doubt in the customer's mind what you just said to them. They don't have to translate it in, the, in their brain. And so we give you more and more of those. We also give you, since, we, um, since we're going through this here. So what, uh, what I'm doing with my, my one on, on attraction is I'm rewriting my videos based on those kind of words because my words aren't as powerful as these established sayings that are focused to my um, the focus to my target, my emotional target, not my person, the emotional target, I guess. Yeah, it's very difficult to write for someone else. It's really hard to do. Most of us aren't, even for a copywriter. And I'm, I've been a copywriter by trade and I've been paid well to do it. Um, but it's, uh, it's sometimes, you know, we get stuck, we get in rut, we write the same things over and over, we tend to reuse our own favorite catchphrases and things. So this tells you, yeah, you could break free of that. And you could use all of these, and these will all help you. Um, so the copywriting, the, that section alone is worth the whole price of the report, as far as I'm concerned, because you wouldn't get that anywhere else in the whole world. Um, and it took forever to create it, trust me. Um, so here's some colors now, uh, you know, just as an aside, color theory is interesting. Um, there's a lot of opinions on it. Um, and here is what we believe are the better colors to sell something admirable. Uh, something elite, something cool, something above the rest, okay? Something exciting. Anything that's cool and elite and above the rest must be exciting. If you look at Lee's website, she's got the- uh, Blue and the gold. The blue, the gray. And I've got the red and the black. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? And I have the green. Well, because I have the rainbow, I have all of it. But it's so interesting because this is post tense, developing two separate companies and coming together. And I'm so glad we did this work with you, Brian. It was fantastic. How can folks um, get their own Admanity Protocol report? Absolutely. Um we have a special website for We Empower You folks, and it's Admanity, just like the logo behind me, admanity.com. And then you put a forward slash and you write We Empower You, one word, admanity.com forward slash We Empower You. Now, what you'll get when you get to that website, it'll take you to a nice site. You're going to get something that we all love. You're going to get something free right off the bat. You're going to get a, uh, a nice report we put together, which is titled How Emotions Sell Everything. And literally every single product in the world has been sold by those 15 emotions that you saw in the chart earlier. Um, and so we show you why. Why is it the same emotions over and over and over and over and over again selling the same product, every product you've ever seen? So we're going to give you that report free. It'll open your eyes. It'll change the way you think about your brand. That's for sure. And then you'll be invited to get your own report for your own company and you get all kinds of special bonuses through We Empower You that we do not offer the public. So it's uh, really a great deal. There you go, that's the page. If you see that page, you're in the right place. All you gotta do is give us your first name and email and boom, the report will be instantly sent to you. And then uh, it will take you to another website where it'll share with you all the things that are inside of your Admanity brand attraction report. If you wanna get one, everything comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. So you don't have to worry. It's $397. It's not a budget killer. This is a one-time expense. It's about a dollar a day. If you think about your business, is it worth a dollar a day? I hope so. To get all this, we've had professional agencies tell us they would charge five, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 to do this kind of an analysis on any brand because it takes a long time. Now we have algorithms that are working for us and took seven years to build this. So that's why we can do it in five minutes. Your whole brand will be analyzed and you'll be given the answers in five minutes. And you can uh, view those answers online anytime 
There's a special digital portal where you go see them. They're all right there. And it's for your brand, not for Marlboro or for whatever. But in, I'm, we're sharing this with you so you can see how to present We Empower You to others. So you can understand what our brand is about. But if so, you wanted to take the test for another brand, you could. So what I want, would like to do say is that Bettina and I will help you through and give you the strategies and the results of the ad man we empower you because we want you guys to you know have something that is actually works on an ad basis so patina will go through you can go through patina to get all those answers the other thing i'm going to caution you about is when you go through the report it's you can only do the questionnaire once so you've got to be very very clear if you have several products which one you're actually focused on that's in your main business. And the other thing I will say is that um, anybody that I'm working with, don't do it without me. Because, yeah, that's a good point. If, uh, yeah. for example, if you were, a, uh, let's say you're a car dealer. Um, I don't know if we have any car dealers on the call today, but let's just say, and, and he'd say, what do you do? And he'd say, I sell cars. Well, yeah, you sell new cars on one lot. That is an emotion of buying new, you sell used cars over here. Now that might be a different emotion. Maybe that's more value-based decision-making. And you got a service center over here to fix the broken cars, which nobody likes because nobody wants to go get their car serviced. Completely different emotion um, when you're visiting the service center. So you might take three separate tests because you have three completely different divisions within your world. Not all businesses are like that, but that's a great example um, you know, if you own a retail store and all you sell is, uh, you know, um, let's say candy, well, that's pretty easy. You just take the store for, take the test for a store that sells candy. But if you have multiple divisions that are completely different, focus on the one you want to promote and build the most. Take the, the test the for pyramid. that. Yeah. What yeah. you lead with, your leading product. So do talk to me before you do the test. And the people I'm working with, we, you have to do the test with me because I know the structure of the questions. And I know, I know what to ask you before you answer the question. Um, the other thing is, Bettina, you mentioned some sort of uh, admiration video. Could Brian bring that up? I'd love to see it. Maybe we can leave well, it on. Well, or there's a video for each of the, um, for each of the different um, Admanity reports. I don't know. I can do it. I found it. I found it. I found okay, it. Good. Yeah. I got it. If we just keep asking, it happens. Remember, that's another strategy for next week. Just yeah. keep asking. <laughs> okay, so let me share again. This is just a quick, I think it's like uh, one and a half minutes. So it's uh, good. Now, as you're bringing that up, um, uh, I've got to stop sharing here. So there you Oh, go. yeah. Okay. And then uh, just a, a reminder, everybody, that um, uh, Brian has made this offer to us, so it's now the free report is part of the membership, and you get everybody gets that. And then, in addition to that, if you want to go with the three ninety seven offer, it does come with um, the Admanity U, which uh, uh, Brian can go into a little bit more. Yeah, this is a, a for those of you who haven't seen this. This is what you get after you've bought and you have your archetype, you have your reports. It's all visible here. This is what we call the portal. And so your portal here is where you can read and we have all kinds of extra articles and podcasts and videos. There's Admanity U, which you get through uh, We Empower You, which is awesome because this is $600 of free value that we would normally charge you for, but you get it absolutely free through a We Empower You. And you go into enter the U here, you go and you get tons more articles and how to and case studies. We show you things like how did Marlboro do that? We'll show you the exact formulas that they used. And um, so let's just do the admiration video here. Um, it stars uh, yours truly. Uh, so let's hope this plays. And we'll see, it tells you a little bit more about admiration. Can you enhance the audio? It's not, we don't hear it. We're not hearing it. You're not here. Are you not hearing that? No. Okay. I think you have to enhance the audio or. Uh, well, I got to. Here's what I got to do. I got to take these uh, these headphones off. I think. And switch because, speakers. Yeah, because it's yeah. it's it's trying to. 
I hear it great. It sounds great, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can, let you me just repeat it, Brian, as you go through it. <laughs> and let me. Uh, I got to go to your sound settings. Yeah, I got to get. I got to get out of uh, of the share to do it. Um, let me do the speaker built-in output. Okay. Okay. Just so you know, I don't usually promote anybody on an affiliate program, but with Brian, it really focused and put some fire under me. And if, if what Brian's a program could do for you, what it's done for me, um, you know, you should be all in. <clears throat> you see, it, see, folks, see if this is any better, because we're, we're dealing with a lot of technology here, but Maybe you can Click. hear this. I'll put Click. the microphone. Close. I the video. <laughs> Let's see. Nope. No audio. Try your sound settings, Brian. Um, I could try to play it on my end. Let me. Okay, good. That didn't work. Uh, talk amongst yourselves for a second. I'll go get it off of my account. Oh, does anybody have any questions for Brian or myself? Why don't we just pop that open? No questions, exactly how I want me. it. I think everybody's muted. <laughs> oh, everybody's muted. I don't have any questions because I already signed up, Lee, and we'll, I, I want to connect with you on that. Yeah, yeah, don't, and I gave you, I called. I'm not going to do I, anything. <laughs> I messed it, yeah, don't do, you don't do anything, okay? Don't do, anything. <laughs> don't do a thing. Um, and uh, I left a message for you two days ago. Did you? I didn't get it. I emailed and left a phone message for you in regard to the setup the way you wanted for your website. Yeah, I didn't get it. So, Either well, one. That's crazy. A lot of tech. Yeah. Is it wasn't in my dreams. You don't. You don't play a role in my dreams. <laughs> you're, not, you're not male enough. Thank God. Thank <laughs> you. I I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, I guess that was a compliment in some respects. <laughs> it's not um, in my portal yet, Brian. <laughs> I'm still in yours, so I won't be able to play it for you unless you add it to mine. But this yeah. was like mind blowing. Uh, dialogue that that Lee and Brian and I had because if the right hand and the left hand do not somehow come together it's really hard to promote your brand and we're now on the same page we're now on this attraction to promote the membership and so the altruism is there, the community is there, everything is still there. It's just that now we know what words to use, what colors to use, the language to use, everything that is the membership for all of you, the copy that we'll be writing, um, all of it will come through this attraction report that it'll be guided by this attraction report rather. It's not attraction. So, it's admiration. I'm sorry, admiration. I may, I may have a, a solution. Okay, um, good. And let's see, because I think when you when you share, can I share right, yep. right now? Yeah. Oh, I, I've got to stop sharing. So before you share, Brian, you're clicking that bu button that shares that says the um, sharing audio, right? Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I didn't do that before. Okay, you didn't do that before. Okay, it's yeah. your. See, one of the, the most amazing feats of all time will be when Brian actually figures out how to use Zoom. Then in you. you <laughs> Until that we have Ryan, if I can get it, you can get it. <laughs> For sure. Ask Lee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it's, Rita it's can make money, anyone can make money. Pretty crazy <laughs> stuff. All right. So let's see. Optimize for no share sound. Okay. Now let's see. I get rid of this white thing. You should all oh, share screen. There it is. I, and I now love you're looking at. You're okay. looking at, at the yeah. really good looking guy on the one side and the not so good looking people on the other. Is that what you're looking yeah, at? Yeah, we got that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if you can hear this. The protocol. Congratulations, you are the admiration brand, the archetype of envy, where brands and heroes are worshiped. Your brand rests on the tallest of pedestals within the Admanity protocol. Admiration brands are longed for, wished for, coveted, and are the things we often associate with success. We aspire to them because we envy them and we hope that others might envy us once we achieve them. 
You have something far above the norm. You're not for everyone, and you know it. The more your brand remains out of reach, the more it is admired. The delicate tightrope your brand must walk is that your brand must attract not only those who can purchase today, but those who aspire to maybe purchase down the road. Without the admiration of the many, there is no motivation for purchase among the few. It sounds difficult, but we'll show you exactly how it's done. Your Admanity Report has all the answers you'll need to present your brand to the world in the best possible light. You know, and the admiration is true because one, you have software, only multi-million dollar companies use with your website platform, a TV show, sponsors, media lists, I mean, and weekly education meetings. I mean, what is there not to say, hey, and you're using WordPress? Well, good luck with that. Yeah, you know, what's Plus, we're, we're adding things like we're, we're adding admanity. We have some other things that, you know, lining up here for the membership uh, down the line. So that's the thing is like us coming to a place where now we can help you to talk about the membership is going to be like a really a big thing. And thank you so much, Brian, for helping us through this. Uh, thank you, Lee, for your partnership with the We Empower You membership, because without you, this engine could not go at all. It requires Income Activator to work. I have tried in vain to have a membership that was all about empowerment without the Income Activator. It literally goes bankrupt every single time. So there's no way that we can drive this train forward to help every single one of you on this call, everyone who's watching and anybody around the world, if we don't have Income Activator, it doesn't work. It has to be driven by this Income Activator solution. So thank you so much. I get a thumbs up here from Romeric. He's Yay. coming in from Côte d'Ivoire, uh, West Africa. Maybe you can unmute uh, there, Romeric. I know you're so, so tired. It's later in the day there, it's bonsoir. If you wanna unmute and say a quick hello to Brian, I know you just signed up today. Yes, Vesita, you're right. So good, good evening, everyone. It's always a pleasure. You know, I've been fascinated by Brian's presentation and uh, I've been lucky to be in the same uh, um, you know, room with Brian when we had the summit, the virtual summit. So I decided right away to join, you know, this powerful tool from Brian. You know, we have so many powerful tools in the Way on Power Your Community. So uh, we, we have no option but to succeed. So for me, my orientation is, you know, working towards, towards success, towards success. So I'm going to work with Brian for a couple of days. And, uh, Yes, I want people to see that big change because what Brian is doing uh, is so amazing. But I, I want people to, 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 to be wowed. So <laughs> we still touch and results. Thanks, Thanks Brian. Mark. Thank you very much. You know, he's doing some big things in, in, in his country. He's really trying to bring the future to, to his country and uh, put people on a faster path of learning than they're uh, used to. And so I'm excited to help you. Uh, we're going to do some great things uh, with your brand. Um, and um, so, yeah, it's really cool. And, you know, on, and what we're doing is we're basically showing you what the big boys do. This is the stuff you'd learn if you could pay $50,000 and hire an agency, <laughs> right? Who, who wants to pay $50,000 when you can pay three ninety seven dollars and get it in five minutes? That's, that's what we're saying. Yes. Yeah. You know, I, I would say the even more important thing is if you do not have your branding identity down, it's not so much that you would spend money, say five or 10,000 to get this information. It's all the years, all the weeks, months and days that you waste in time and money doing the wrong thing, speaking the yeah. wrong message into the universe and then having to undo it. So the fact that we met Brian um, some months ago and that we're living into this, it means that we're not going to be wasting money on the wrong message and the wrong opportunity for the public. We need to get this story straight. 
once we have the story straight, all the messaging falls into place, all the branding falls into place. And uh, this is going to make us even more and more clear, especially now that, you know, Lee and I are literally on the same page. It did take us 40 minutes <laughs> instead of five, but of the questions that we discussed and then had asked and answered, it brought us into a more perfect union, truly. It's almost like a, <laughs> it felt like if they could make something like this for dating, this would be like... <laughs> <laughs> the perfect way to figure out your branding <laughs> with another partner seriously it was you know, really here's, and here's a perfect example i thought we empower you was attraction but tina thought we empower you was community i have no idea what brian thought but we were both wrong and when we went through the questions and argued our positioning and our ultimate goals of what we want this product to be and perceived, we came up with admiration, which was okay with all of us. But attraction wasn't okay with Bettina and community wasn't okay with me. Admiration nailed it. Yes. So and thanks, Brian. Yes. And, and what's great is that you do it for each product or service. So as as a speaker, as a presenter, as someone who's bringing a community together, having the authority brand is something that I can relate to and I can speak to and I can message to and I can brand to, right? But that's not the same as the membership because the membership is Lee and I together plus our team. And that's so everybody else. it's, at, yes, it's, it's literally got to line up. By the same token, there is also the community, the community that, you know, we all have come to know, like, and trust one another. So that's why this was such a beautiful experience because without being paying attention to exactly what brand we were talking about, we wouldn't come up with the right solution. So thank you so much uh, for, both of for taking the time. And a final word, I am... 25% member, I am 25% of the We Empower You. Bettina is 25% of the We Empower You. And everybody here, whether you're a member or not, is 50% of the We Empower You. You have more ownership of the membership than Bettina and I. So take that to the bank. <laughs> there you go. Thank you both. Uh, we're going to open up the uh, Zoom uh, uh, chat, everybody to weigh in. When you ask a question, it, go ahead and introduce yourself as well, because we're uh, we have about uh, 40 minutes to do our networking now. And uh, Brian, if you want to stay, you're welcome to stay. I know Lee often jumps off right around now, but uh, you're also welcome to stay. Thank and you. If anybody, if anybody has a question, I'll answer it. But I got, I do have another thing I've got to get to. But I'll be happy to answer any direct questions. If okay, anybody... great. How about we take questions first? Yeah. Who is that guy standing beside you in the video, Brian? Uh, that's my not so good looking younger <laughs> brother. Yeah, who, we won't talk much of him. <laughs> yeah, that was my only question. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lee. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm looking for microphones open. I'm surprised I haven't heard from Troy yet. <laughs> which, is, which is good. I'm a hard good. time trying. The medication is settling in. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, a phone call took me away from a big part of the presentation. So I have to go back and watch the replay. Okay. And uh, I was just going to say that as a 50% shareholder, I'm disappointed I didn't get to participate in the meeting. Yeah, that's too bad. Okay. <laughs> oh, you, you were actually discussed, Troy. We talked about you. <laughs> yeah, we said, what would Troy say? <laughs> yeah. So I have just more of a comment that I really appreciate all the time that uh, Brian has spent with us these last few weeks. And obviously you, uh, Lee, Lee and Bettina, but uh, appreciate Brian adding his expertise to us. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Oh, you're thank welcome. It's, it's fun. I enjoy doing this. I don't feel like I'm doing anything other than helping friends when we get together on these on the summits and everything we've done. Uh, and a lot of you have, have become ad humanitarians 
and uh, you're opening your eyes to a new way of thought, and it's just really cool. So thank you so much for, for I do all have your a support. Question, Brian, what's that? I do have a question. Okay, so the last shoot. time you spoke, I signed up. Would I go in and sign up to take the free take the test? Do you go in and sign in again? Um, if you are already a member, or no, I just signed up okay. to to get the information. Oh, the free booklet. Yeah, you know, any you start to get some emails from us. You probably already got one or two. Yeah. Um, any of those emails have an order button. You can at any point just click on that, um, and get. And you can. Go, it'll take you right to the order page where you can uh, buy the test. Okay. Okay. So all you just go back through one of your old emails. If you don't have one, um, you can sign up for the on the free booklet again. Okay, and just and let it download again, and uh, it'll take you to the order page right after that. So either way, okay. you can find it. Yeah. Rosie, don't do the test without me. Yes, I, I heard that. Okay, <laughs> Rosie, that is, don't do it without me. <laughs> don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> Thank you, Rosie, for your question. All right. Um, I okay. also, uh, I don't know if Elizabeth is uh, wanting to unmute or Art or... Cosby, I'm mean, gosh, we've got so many people here. Wilma, Elvet. Okay. I think Andre. we're good. I think we're good. Any, anybody can unmute if they want. Rita, too. Rita, I see. I'm bouncing around here. I'm going to spotlight you if you want to be spotlighted. Hold on a second. Oh, here's Art. Okay, hang on. <laughs> I, Art am, I am so tech, technically unenabled right now. I forgot my head, my headset on. A question. Uh, once you sign up for that, Brian, you have access for that uh, in perpetuity in terms of your of the portal. Once you buy that product, it doesn't go away in a year or anything like that, right? You're absolutely correct. Um, the portals are free. And there's a couple of good things about portal. It's set up for you. It's a private viewing station to view your materials. Mm -hmm. It also allows you to view all the free materials that we give to everyone. Okay. And here's okay. the cool thing, because a lot of us are working at home and uh, remotely, and you might want to share this with somebody else in your world. You can give them access to your portal, just give them the login information, and you can both be looking at the reports. You can put five, six people into your portal at the same time. We don't charge by the user. Yeah. So I could, if I had my staff, I said, or, you know, um, I can then share this, this information. That's very important to be able to do that. Yes, and they could even look at it independently. You don't have to get together at the same time. They can go in all at the same time or different times, look at it, study it, learn it. Then you can meet together and discuss it. Uh, yeah. It's all free. Absolutely. That's good news. Yeah, you know, for Art, remember, good question. don't do it without me. I'm not going to do it without you. I heard you. I heard you loud and clear. Boy, if you I know why? Because it costs me. It costs me dearly if I don't. I know, I know. And, then, and and I don't want to go back to Brian saying, oops, no, 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 it's not going to be a thousand domains and you all that. No, do overs, right? Like, no, uh, no, no. I wonder no. why I keep saying this to saying this to that crew. <laughs> I hear you. Thank no, you, I'm, I'm hearing you loud and clear. OK, good. All right. Well, I can I can tell you, Brian, uh, what you're what you were talking about is great because there are a lot of companies that are offering services, but they're not really zeroing in on what the person that's actually they're working with do. This is where the whole thing falls down. If you don't know what I do or understand what I'm doing, you have no idea how to promote what I do. No, a lot of times people do that. That is such a good comment. And I don't know if most people realize how astute that is because when I was doing the research for Ed Vanity, this is years ago, I would, I would look on everything on the internet that said, hey, sell with emotions, use emotions. And there's a million articles written about emotionality and why it's awesome. And then they all drop you at the same point. At, you're looking down over the cliff and you're saying, hey, I, which emotions, how, do, how does this work? You're all telling me to use them, but how? And nobody's got a comment there because it took us seven years to get the answer to that question. So you know, there's not too many answers. There's a whole lot of questions and emotions are the secret to selling anything. This gives you the formula of emotions. And so thanks for bringing that up because you're absolutely right. There's not much out there other than general feel good information. Because it's important, especially in what I do as a relationship coach and an author and a YouTuber myself, I have to target the people I'm looking at and people I'm talking to. 
because in order for them to understand what I'm talking about, I need to know what they want to hear. Yes. Now, when I'm talking to them about relationships, everyone seems to always think they have the answers already. And it's not that they don't know. It's the point that sometimes you need to look at things from a different perspective. I tell them in my book, my podcast, and the videos that I put, I have on YouTube on my channel, I make you rethink what you thought you already knew. Because a lot of times people say, well, you know, I, I know how to deal with this. You dealt with it before. It didn't come out right. If you repeat the same process, you can probably get the same results. So how about we look at it from a different perspective and say, hey, what if I try this? Because when you open to, you cannot be innovative if you're still sticking to tradition. <laughs> it doesn't help, it doesn't no. help at all. Say that one again. <laughs> you can't be innovative in your thinking if you're stuck to traditions. That's a lot of people get stuck in that tradition and say, well, they did it this way. Well, again, people that's been successful, all these billionaires in the world that you see right now from Oprah to Microsoft to whoever, they had to think outside the box on what they were trying to present. They had to answer a question, is it a, a, a want or answering a question? How can I put, put a service out there that's gonna make people understand? And like I do, like I just dropped my video the other night and I had a lady comment on the video because the video was, um, the, the man's role in the relationship. And the funny thing about it is that every man has, is on, on YouTube right now talking about how women should split bills 50-50 or should a woman pay half the rent. But nobody's asked the question, what is the man's role in the relationship? Does he know what provider means? What does it consist of? What, do you, what does your job consist of? People come, well, you know, uh, I want us to split the bills, split the bills. If she's doing your job, how can you be seen as the provider and the head of the household? So when I have conferences with men doing the Zoom call, and of course, during this pandemic, I had to do more Zoom than in person. And I do my one-on-ones. But it's so interesting when I hear people tell me about what they, how they think. And some men's thinking process is in that chaotic moment from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Because there was a moment back in the day, 70s and 80s, where if a man said, hey, I'll take you out, take tell a woman, I'll take you out, I'll buy you this, I'll take your trips. That all sounded good because women didn't have the income to do that for themselves at that moment. But now you're in a time where telling a woman, I buy you a car, I got a car. I buy you a house, I got a house. I buy you some clothes, I got that. So what are you bringing to the table besides uh, just yourself? A lot of men think, oh, because, you know, I'm, the woman's supposed to just give me the title of provider, give me the title of leader and see me and follow me and, and do everything I say do. But why? She's doing what you do. And most times either better and making more money doing it. And even when men have that perspective, say, you know what, you know, I need to understand what's going on because our churches are not teaching our men how to be men. You have programs that say how to be men, but they're not really, like, like you said yourself, Brian, they're not getting into what it is you need to do. I can hear about it all day long, but what do I need to do? What do I need to change? How do I need to look at it again? Because anybody on the diet program, you have to rethink how you have been doing your life and how you're eating for you to lose weight. It's not no quick fix. You had to train your brain, rethink, set your mindset all over again and rethink a different way. So programs like yours, when people do them different business, because there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there. There's a lot more women getting into the world right now, creating businesses and things of that nature. And they want somebody to understand their product because it's their baby. They birthed it. And they want somebody to understand what it is we're trying to do. So when you come across someone like yourself, it's worth paying you if you understand what I'm saying, because most people can listen, but they can never hear. If you can hear me and understand what I'm talking about, what I'm going through, then you can do what I'm doing because I, I want to hand it off to some, someone like you. Do that part of it and let me do me. Oh, let me do me, point. you do that. Yeah. Yeah. So, you see what I'm saying? Are there Makes any it easy for people. Yes. Are there, are there any other questions in the audience? Good point, good point. Very okay. good. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm out of here. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Lee. I'll see you next week. Take it easy guys. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. You're heading out. Anybody okay. else have a question for Brian? Are you heading out too? Brian's about to leave the studio. <laughs> leave the, Elvis is going to leave the building here. <laughs> you know, right, I'll, 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 I'll leave with this parting shot, uh, you know, based on what Andre was saying. You know, you're all experts at these 15 emotions. Some people say, well, what is he doing? He's, I see happiness and trust and, you know, some of these, they don't look new. 
You're all experts at using them. Unfortunately, you've been on the receiving end of them your whole life. And if you want to see how, how the experts do it, just watch the commercials on your TV every night between 7 and 9 p.m. You're going to see all the hottest five you know, million dollar commercials there using the simplest emotions to persuade and influence you. This program shows you how to use them back. You can use them too. They're free. There's no license on this stuff. There's no license on emotions, colors, words, phrases, and emotional uh, theory. It's all free. It's just no one's shown you how to use it. And so with that, I'll sign off. I'll let you guys get back to your meeting. Thank you so much, uh, Bettina, for having me on today. It's always fun. But today, I, I really enjoyed this the feeling of this group. They really... Yeah, this is really awesome. Yeah, so yeah it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Our looking forward to this partnership and moving forward with you and hopefully every member in the future will have an admanity protocol before they even jumpstart their income activator business. Bye for now. Okay. Bye all. <laughs> all right. So now this portion of our meeting, uh, we have about 30 minutes to introduce everyone that's here. There's 11 people. So that means we've got about two plus minutes each. Um, let's start with Elizabeth. You got two minutes on the clock. <laughs> Unmute. Okay, I'm hitting the wrong button. <laughs> um, wow, this is so exciting. I First time I saw uh, Admissity, I knew I wanted to do it. I did sign up this weekend. And I'm so glad I didn't take my test because now I'll be doing it with Lee. And because I've just, as my brand is developing, um, you know, I can go different ways and I need to have the guidance to know how to answer those questions just for the way my website is developing. Yeah. So, and yeah. I love the idea yeah. that we, that you are putting together something for the, we empower you so that in our social media, we can use the right branding in order to get people to the meetings. Yeah. yeah. Well, Very cool. Wonderful. And uh, is there anything you need from any of us? Uh, any connections you want to make here today? Uh, put oh, your no. no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Next, I've got Rita next to me on my screen anyway. Uh, unmute. Oh, and by the way, as she's unmuting, Rita's going to be my guest tomorrow on the Rainier Avenue radio at 1.30 p.m. and we go live. So we hope you will join us in watching and I'll put the link in the uh, chat here. And uh, Rita, take it away. What are we gonna be talking about? Oh, we're gonna be talking about that the only secret to being wealthy is that there is no secret to being wealthy. You know what, too often I see, hear, feel the pain of people being sick and tired and worry and feeling angst over money creating relationship breakups and bankruptcies. And you probably heard people say, or you might've even said it, gosh, if I was only educated about money, life would be so different for me now. And I have this beautiful vision that 1 million families will be educated around money in the next 10 years, because that vision holds a world where it's a place that we love to live without stressing about money, creating possibility for change for all of us. So there's no secret. Only you get to create your vision around your money. And so what does that look like for you a year from now, five years from now? What I have right now, and I'm going to say my ask, whether it's you or someone else you know, or you want to help facilitate getting those 1 million people educated around money and my money education movement, that is coming up June 25th, 26th, and 27th. And right now I'm having a flash sale for only $2.97. It is a live virtual online with six modules and you learn in a revolutionary new way what wealthy people do and know what wealthy people know about money uh, to grow it, to make it, to keep it. And this way we get to all flourish together because I believe an educated society is an elevated society. So that's special for 297. There's five spots and they're going, I, I think I already had two go just in the past hour. So there's probably only three spots left for that. Share it with friends, family, anybody that you want to create a positive change in their life for. Thank you so much, Rita. I look forward to her, your interview tomorrow. 
And I'm going to put the link in the chat, and I'll probably do it also on Facebook Live. And Ramerick has got a jet out of here. So do you have a few seconds to uh, tell us a little bit about your upcoming book club or program that you're running? Yes, Bettina. Uh, so uh, the book club is about you know promoting the English language towards French speakers here uh, through reading. So uh, we have you know resourceful people in the community. So I'll be interviewing uh, uh, Andre. Andre is here, so I need to schedule uh, an interview with Andre. We've uh, also um, yeah, I'm forgetting the names now. <laughs> Andre and uh, uh, you know, I'm forgetting the name of uh, the one who wrote the about the samurai. Um, oh, Lori Sugahuele. Lori, yeah. yes, yes, Lori. So free, free uh, yeah, Lori, yeah. So you know, it's so motivating for people back home here to you know, see me as a French speaker, be able to communicate with you, with you guys and get all the opportunities around. So, uh, and it always depends on me because they can't do the same. So by doing those interviews, it is just to let them know that they can do. If I can do it, they can do it. So yeah. I'm so grateful for the network and uh, all the people in the community for what you will, you are allowing me to do because it will transform people's, people's life here. So thank you so much for your times again. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming. I know it's a real challenge being that it's almost midnight there. <laughs> Have a good sleep. <laughs> we'll continue. I know, thank you very much. The recording is already in your inbox. I, I put the link in your messenger. Yes, stay in touch. Will do. See you next week. Thank you. All right. Sure. <laughs> Next to me now is Art Johnson, Art Johnson, team member also. Wilma's giving you some love, just so you know. Oh, that's so nice. You know, I'm just, this is so good. And, you know, we're celebrating one whole year of starting from nothing to this amazing thing. And we've just had some great, a great staff meeting earlier this morning, and I discussed the fact that I'm having to rethink my own brand and, and, and figure out how that relates to, you know, taking this further with you know, leveraging my investment in my own membership and, and doing that. So, and then this thing with Brian today was good. Like, here's a tool that help you get clear about that brand and what colors, what words. I mean, it was just like, whoa, okay. It's kind of right there in your, in your, in your doorstep. So I'm, I'm just really um, ecstatic. Rita, you got some things we haven't ever connected yet, but I'm going to be reaching out to you and uh, I'll be doing more reaching out and, you know, just generally caring about um, the other things that people do. What I'm seeing is there's so much expertise in the house, okay, that if we can learn as a community to share that in a way that, that adds value to making this thing. And I really like that, the fact that you you two got came together because a lot of that were, you know, you and Lee not being on the same page and you feel kind of, you're pulled one way and you're pulled another way. But when you kind of agree of some of the, that same kind of that thing, and then, you know, that we're aspiring to greatness, okay? Yes. That is so cool. That is, that speaks to me. And, and, you know, the sense of uh, the other thing, that word of urgency, and I had to kind of this morning, I said, look, I'm 75. I got to make sure every breath count on my remaining time on the earth plane. You hear what I'm saying? Okay. And there's a lot on my plate that I want to accomplish, but I think this is going to really help me get there sooner. So I'm so grateful to be in the presence of all of you. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, Art. <laughs> we love having you, of course. Elvet. Are you out there? Oh, Elvet, yeah. Give me a second, Bettina. I, I, uh, my battery is kind of low, so I have to go plug it up there. Okay. And where I was, was um, but, uh, give me a second right quick. I'll be right there. But I just wanted to say from the 
from the um, the summit, you know, I listened to Brian during the summit. I had the opportunity to listen to the whole summit, and I um, saw some of his presentation that he was uh, he had presented on the same topic. And uh, you know, basically, I just want to say, you know, like I don't know how many y'all ever watched the Ray Charles movie. On a point in the beginning of the movie, he talked about he said, "You hang with pennies, you get pennies. You hang with dollars, you get dollars." And I'm saying you know, hanging with you guys. And as long as you continue to go, like art is saying, the amount of knowledge that's around, you know what I mean? You can't feel, but empowered, you know what I mean? It's a lot taken right now. But, um, you know, my daughter used to do step and I used to take her to the step classes and stuff with the, 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 the practices. And, you know, just from going around after a while of doing it, I wasn't even doing it, but I knew the routines, you know, just from, being around so i'm saying i'm hoping that all this knowledge that we observing so fast you know that at one point or the other that hey you know like um art was saying hey it comes all together and um hey we could make great use and you know make use of um what little bit of time we got left you know what i mean on this you know plane so hey i just want to be thanks say thanks for being a part of the um you know being invited to the empowerment meetings you know Thank you so much, Alvette. Your your words are music to my ears because obviously we we put a lot into helping everybody, and it takes a while. It takes time. You know, we're a year in. We've got a long way to go, and mm. uh, we're we're. It's just you can see it ratcheting. And, and last week on Thursday, when we had our empowerment uh, circle meeting, I had the opportunity to just something just sunk in like a pe a, a puzzle piece that just went and i realized that we had reached you know around 700 people with our summits oh five summits in a year and all of a sudden i realized it could have been 7000 if i had done what lee said in the very beginning and what she's been saying all along Bettina, get on the radio with your message your voice is your active activate your voice and you will see financial success and that just suddenly as we were sitting around talking for those couple hours all of a sudden i got it, it was like okay clean up your act girlfriend you got all this time now your granddaughter's gone out of the area and you have nothing to do with that time that you used to give to her get on the radio get your tv show on the channel it's right there it's sitting there and by next year, my goal is to have 7,000 people have gone through the summit, not 700, okay? <laughs> so, and, you know, and you know what you're saying there? And you know what you're saying there is so true because um, a couple of years ago, that's how I came into Income Activate. I used to listen to this other lady, one of Lee's friends that used to be on the radio, and she had to invite Lee to promote her Income Activate website. The yeah. lady has since passed on. I can't remember her name right off the back, but I used to listen to her radio show too. And Lee came on and she presented it back to Vader. And strange yeah. enough, you know, that's, that's just how I came in. You know what I mean? So she, you're right about that, you know, because it was by listening to the radio and listening to another talk show. Yeah. And, uh, you know, how I got involved with Income Activator all to begin with in truth. Yeah. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, next up, Wilma and... I believe you might have a friend here with you today too. Uh, Wilma, are you able to unmute? Wilma, are you there? Let me send an unmute signal here. <laughs> oh, here I am. Here you are. Yeah, I had a had a client crisis, so I've been oh, in and out. Okay. And I'm sorry for that. Uh, but I thought the presentation. Can you hear me? Is Cynthia here with us today? I'm kind of trying to make up a story that that's, that's a number I recognize in my head. I think she might be. Cynthia, are you with us? Might be. <laughs> she might be. I don't know. I saw that too, but welcome I wasn't back. sure that was her number. Yeah, welcome back. Whoops. Asked to unmute. I think I... <laughs> there we go. Is that yes. you? Hi, this is... I'm here. Nice to have you back. So uh, why don't you two take a couple minutes each and, and then we'll go on to Andre. 
Okay, well, I will defer all of my comments. I think I wrote a little bit on the chat saying it was an awesome presentation and it's extremely helpful. Uh, but I'll defer my time to Cynthia since she was new and, and uh, she can see what her reaction was. Yes, thank you. Thank you for joining us too. And tell Sandra hello. And you guys are gonna be up uh, next Thursday at 1.30 to the Rainier Avenue Radio Show. Absolutely, Talking looking forward. Washington State uh, long-term care tax. It's coming down the pike. So, Absolutely. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. And Cynthia, just a quick intro. Hi, my name is Cynthia Purcell. Um, I'm here in Seattle. Uh, this is my second event that I attended and that once before I had indicated that um, I'm working on a development of a cooperative development center. Um, but I actually, there are other, <laughs> there are other entrepreneurial things that I'm involved with, but, uh, but in any case, this, uh, this workshop was helpful. Thank you. Oh, great. I'm glad you made it back. We love having you. Come on back every Wednesday. <laughs> and then every quarter we have the summit. All right, Andre and then Rosie. Well, I want to thank everybody that, uh, on today. Again, it's always a pleasure to come on and talk with people to learn more things. And like I said, we don't know what we don't know. And when we talk to people, we learn things. And like I, for me personally, as I do what I do, because I do do a lot of videos, I do speak a lot of places and do a lot of Zoom calls because of the pandemic. And I do my very best in each one of the things that I do is to pinpoint who the audience I'm talking to, the message I'm trying to get across. And I'm careful with the message that I actually give out because I want them to understand it's not just telling, talking to you. I'm going to talk, talk to you about what it is going on with you. Because a lot of people would talk at you, but never talk to you. And you can never hear them. You never understand what's going on because they're just telling you information that you cannot figure out how to implement in what you're trying to do. So basically through what I do, through my videos, with the tutorials, and the whole idea of the videos is to educate, entertain, and inform. Because a lot of us are people who have to see things. You may hear words, but when you see things, pictures and things like that, you get it. So when people look at the videos and comment on my uh, channel, they tell me that it feels like they're watching a, a mini movie in 10 minutes or less or they definitely get the information from a different perspective because that's the whole idea. When you're trying to tell somebody to understand what's going on in your business or what you're trying to put out there, you wanna make sure that the message you're putting across is something that you understand. Because if you don't understand it, you're not gonna put it on to someone else to understand it either. So they're not gonna get it. So I can't tell nobody my dreams because he won't get it. I can show it to you. <laughs> I do a lot of that in visual, I'll show you what's going on so you can get it because some people just need to be taught. And right now, everybody on this panel, whether you get paid for it or not, you are teachers. You are teaching people, whoever listens, whoever's talking, you're teaching people, whether you're getting paid for it or not. We understand that we are all teachers when we have an opportunity, because the bottom line is we people do not know who we are until we open our mouths. So that's why I like enjoying talking to people here, getting involved with everything is great. Yes, I met um, a gentleman earlier this week and he said to me, say this six times. My voice is my money maker. My voice is my money maker. My voice is my money maker. My voice is my money cool. maker. My That's true. That's true. The thing about that is that is what you just said is this. The wonderful thing about what you said is this. A lot of people have good messages, but they're afraid to share them out loud. Yes. Yeah. They're not really camera people. They don't feel that they can do it on camera. But think of it this way. Me talking to you this way I'm talking to you now is me every day. I enjoy sharing information of what's going on. So when I get in front of people talking to them, it's like I'm talking to one person. And if a room, if, I, if there's a thousand people in the room and one people just get it, I'm thrilled. <laughs> I'm thrilled. Hey, you got it. You, you understand what I'm talking about. You get it. So when that one person say, oh, you know what? I feel that. I feel what you're saying. I get it. So when yeah. people read the book and say, you know what? I read your book. Uh, you had a different opinion. I had a book club like that. Book club we did, uh, Zoom call. And the women that read it were kind of shocked because some that actually I had heard of me before didn't really think I could go that direction in my thought process of how to hear me on other things. I said, you got to read the book to understand what I'm talking about because if you're not understanding when you're reading things, then you don't understand the words that's on the page. 
And a lot of times when we say things to people, they don't get it until later because they haven't figured out how to implement it into their lives currently. So if you tell me a good idea today, I won't hear you because it doesn't fit into my world. Yeah. When I figure out how it fit into my world, like, hey, she told me something three weeks ago. You're like, what are you talking about three weeks ago? I just, I just now got it. <laughs> and people do that a lot. They just, you get things after the fact. So if you're able to continue to understand, if you don't get it one way I said it, and I sit on your face, I have to rephrase it another way till you, can, till you get it, till you understand what's going on, till it applies based on what you're telling me. Because like I said, in this industry that we're in, our biggest gift is our ability to listen to what the people we're dealing with and talking to. Because in my business, talking, uh, consulting people and coaching them, my job is to listen to what's going on. I can't respond and suggest anything, request anything, if I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So we, that's what we're doing now. Listen, then it's about getting the voice on. So let's, uh, we've got uh, just a few more minutes. Thank you, Andre. Uh, no let's go to Elizabeth for ladies first. And then, uh, I'm sorry, I said Rosie, right? Rosie, then yeah. Elizabeth, then Troy. So um, I'm one of those people you're talking about. I don't feel comfortable talking <laughs> on the way. I do better one-on-one -on -one in person, but you know, COVID hit and it's been really hard for me. But uh, my name's Rosie Lynch and I work with essential oils and I love sharing them um, and educating people on the use of the essential oils. So if anybody's interested and wants to try a sample, I'd be glad to send them a sample. Fantastic. Cool. Uh, go ahead and put your information in the chat also, everybody. And uh, LinkedIn is a great um, resource. So uh, sharing your LinkedIn accounts is also uh, advised, <laughs> advised here in this uh, Zoom call. You guys want to start typing those in. And then uh, Elizabeth, next up. Hi, I already went, but I'll say hi again. <laughs> uh -huh. well you were you were you were commenting more or less but uh yes. you share a little well, bit I'm, more about your what you're doing with your website sure um i am i'm building content right now and i'm just adding more and more topics i'm adding different categories it's called patriotsinform.com and I'm doing Patriot Heroes about people who have really stepped up the plate are doing really, you know, simple people doing amazing things and then some inspirational things. But um, I learned something this week that might be valuable for all of us is I've been overwhelmed with all the different, different directions that I can go. And I heard a, a woman speaking about building your website. In the first year, you want to build content. In the second year, you want to do categories. And then you have the third and fourth and fifth year. And I thought, I've been trying to do five years worth of work in five months. <laughs> and it kind of gave, you know, took the pressure off, realized that I don't have to build this in a day. I can really enjoy just going along and seeing where this leads. And, and I'm so grateful for all the resources I have through Income Activator. That's great. But I think we should just uh, enjoy the ride and not put so much pressure on ourselves. That's right. That's fantastic. Yeah. And you're using Allie also as a resource. So no, I'm not. Typing. Oh, you aren't using Allie at all? Who is no, Allie? Lori. Lori is. Yeah, Sally and uh, others are using Allie. So um, I wish Lee had left her number because I, I don't have it on me. But all right, last up is Troy. Troy, give us a little bit of an update on you. Hello, everyone. Troy Thompson here. And I think where I want to go here, because kind of what's on my mind, I help people with their money, their health and their wealth. They're all they're connected. And uh, Rita and I have uh, some similar philosophies and similar experiences. And because one of my lines is I want to improve people's financial, financial intelligence. And so I put my, I thought I put my contact information. There we go. And so what I propose to the group today is to ask yourself, do you feel like inflation is coming? And if so, what, if anything, would you do differently? I was at a meeting today. There are many different thoughts on it. Most of it is not my area of work. And so that's why I pose it for you to consider for yourself. Is that gold and silver? Is that cryptocurrency? Is that real estate? I think the signs are there that 
the, uh, the purchasing power of our money is becoming less and less, and we call that inflation, meaning we a rise in price. And so I encourage you to you know, do some study of monetary history. Uh, I'll put a, a man's name in here that you might find interesting um, of checking things out. Whoa, sorry, lean, that's what happens when you lean on a, a laptop, you get crazy stuff that <laughs> pops up in front of your face. Um, I can't do two things at once, so there, put it in there. And uh, so that's just what I, I think well, I'll share with the group today is um, ask yourself about inflation and what you're doing to protect yourself. If you're not doing anything, what should you be doing? It's a bunch of personal decisions. Uh, each thing has its pros and cons and its risk. And uh, again, that's not my area. I do life insurance, so I should probably summarize with what I specifically do. I, I do financial advising, but I do not have a securities license, so I don't do stocks, bonds, mutual funds, that sort of thing. I help people with insurance and savings. Uh, I show them how to use their savings, uh, have a tax-free savings account that can get a double-digit return is what I usually say, and also be able to safely use that money to finance whatever they might want to finance, whether that's a car, education, vacation, et cetera. So appreciate the time. Thank you so much, Troy. And, and I'm serious about you being in our conversation earlier today. <laughs> you know, because Lee and I are totally different people, obviously. And not just because we're two different people, but because we really are like completely on different, like opposing sides, if you will but we get along out of respect and mutual understanding and uh, love for one another. And of course, we know that Troy appreciates uh, the, the wisdom and the, the uh, uh, personality of, of Lee. <laughs> so when I'm giving her, you know what, <laughs> Troy's coming into her defense. So we were talking about that earlier. <laughs> All right, it does any, you see there's people who know what I'm talking about <laughs> are laughing here. All right, so with that said, thank you so much everyone for joining us here today. It's been a wonderful meeting. I hope you've enjoyed it as well out there in Facebook land. And uh, just remember to come to our weempoweryourlife.com meetings, the We Empower You community and membership and the We Empower You Summit, which is coming up on September the 8th. Listen to Rainier Avenue Radio on Thursdays at 1.30 p.m. And uh, I will look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye for now. All Bye. right. Thanks, Have an awesome interview. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Yes. Thank you. Bye, <laughs> Bye Troy. Bye. <laughs>